Hi there, and welcome to Ask Dr. Stacy. I'm Dr. Stacy Cooper, and welcome to our weekday broadcast. We present this 1215 Eastern, 915 AM Pacific, where you can always join us. So thank you for showing up here today with me live. This is a live Q&A that's open so that you can ask any questions. You can put them right there in the chat and they'll pop right up here on my screen. Anything that you want to know about fueling your body better for enhanced vitality, better body function naturally. That's our focus. So that is the purpose of the Ask Dr. Stacy show. So you can always submit your questions ahead of time to my email address. Just, just go to drstacy at drstacycooper.com. And that's how you can access me directly through my website. And I'm always happy to share health and wellness tips with you. And you can find it there at the website as well. Today, we're going to be talking about nourishing your body. There are many ways to nourish your body, whether it be through exercise that you do, whether it be through how you hydrate your body. We've talked about that on some previous episodes as well. And the fuels that you provide for your body, so how you feed your body and the foods that you consume. Foods have far-reaching effects in regards to how our bodies function how much energy our body produces, and the rate of our metabolism. So all of these things are affected by what you put in your body. So if you want your engine to run like a high energized, high output, revved up sports car, then you certainly want to be providing high octane fuels for your body. Now, this is just an analogy that I'm using. So um, it is something that many people can relate to. You know that if you put diesel fuel in a gasoline engine, things don't work well. And so that's what we're going to be talking about is fueling your body better for optimal performance and enhanced vitality. So today we're going to talk a little bit about healthy grains. We have covered some of this and you can see all of our previous episodes on our Facebook page. Just go to Lifestyle Balance Solutions on Facebook and also my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and see all of the previous episodes there. Just go to Dr. Stacy Cooper on YouTube. So today quinoa is a great grain that I want to share with you. Um, quinoa is a fabulous grain. It's super easy to prepare just like rice and um, it has so many healthful benefits and you can hide it in so many places and so that your family can enjoy all the healthful benefits of it and not even really realize that they're eating it. And I'm going to give you one of those tips a little bit later as we go through this. But in regards to grains and a vegan or vegetarian diet um, or lifestyle is, is what I want to say because diet is a misnomer. So in regards to um, providing plant sources for your nourishment, then uh, grains are often missing some of the essential amino acids in their makeup. And that is why we combine grains together so that we end up with the full complement of all of the essential amino acids. Now, amino acids are building blocks of protein. There are essential amino acids, which means it is required that you get these through the foods you consume because your body cannot create them. They are essential. You must get them from your food sources. Now, non-essential amino acids are things that your body can actually construct from the things that you provide for it, and it can create it within its own being. So they're non-essential. So essential amino acids you need to get from the foods that you ingest because your body can't make them at all. So in regards to grains, there are a few grains that have the full complement of essential amino acids present in it, and quinoa is one of those grains. So I'm going to share with you some uh, information here. Quinoa is from South America. It is a perfect food to include on a gluten-free diet because it has a superb nutritional profile, and this is extremely important, and it also has a great flavor that's very mild. Quinoa is one of the few complete proteins, and that's what I was just discussing with you. It's a complete protein plant food, meaning it contains all nine essential amino acids. It's a particularly good plant source of lysine, which helps us to absorb calcium and to make hormones within our bodies. Calcium is especially concentrated in quinoa. 
It contains more than twice the amount found in wheat. Now, we've talked a little bit about wheat in our previous episodes, so be sure to search those up. Um, wheat is very inflammatory to the body. It also kickstarts the craving cycle and the addiction center in your brain. And there are many reasons why I eliminate wheat from my food sources. And so that's why it is important to find alternative grains. And that's what we're talking about today. The seeds of quinoa are rich in antioxidant compounds, including immune boosting quercetin and anti-inflammatory camperferol. Unlike other grain foods, quinoa is a good source of healthy fats. Fats is extremely important for our bodies. So I want to welcome our viewers. I see more and more popping up on the screen here. So be sure to ask any questions on the chat or just say hi or let me know where you're from. That would be great. Be sure to like and share these programs as well. I'd appreciate that. One quarter is oleic acid, which is a heart healthy fat, and it also contains alpha linoleic acid or ALA. This is the omega-3 fat that can help reduce high cholesterol and blood pressure within your system. Quinoa is also one of the easiest grains to digest, which is really important with those with celiac and digestive issues, making it particularly useful for anyone with digestive problems. So the tips about quinoa, it is a complete source of protein. It is a full complement of the essential amino acids. All nine of them are present in quinoa, and that is very, very important. It's a useful source of calcium, antioxidants, and healthy fats. It's a good source of potassium, iron, magnesium, and zinc. It's a good source of the B vitamin group, especially folate and B1. So practical tips when using quinoa, you want to boil the quinoa seeds in water until tender. I cook mine just like I would rice. So you want twice as much water to one measure of quinoa, bring the water to a boil, add the quinoa, cover, turn down to a low simmer for 15 minutes. And that's how I prepare my quinoa. You can also pop it as well. So you could just bake it in the oven a little bit to make it crisp and you can enjoy it that way too, it's crunchy. So for a nuttier flavor, you can dry roast the quinoa or dry fry it for five minutes before boiling. So this will change the flavor, enhance it to a more nuttier taste if you would prefer that. Combine cooked chilled quinoa with chopped vegetables, salads, beans, and herbs or spices for a healthy meal because quinoa is a complete protein. So you can be sure to add this instead of your meat. Um, this would be a great alternative and substitute. So you can use it instead of wheat in tabula. You can buy quinoa noodles and flour as a healthy substitute for wheat grains in your baked goods. And this is very versatile and a great flour to use. It's easy to sprout or puff. Just follow the directions given on the package and you can already buy it prepared as well. So a great recipe that I have available is um, cashew quinoa salad. So it has many chopped vegetables. It does have a cashew uh, sesame oil ginger dressing with it and it's a great crunch and it is a meal all on its own because quinoa is a complete protein so it's super exciting another super fantastic recipe that i'm so excited to share with you is our quinoa chocolate cake this is our newest go-to for birthday cakes or any other special occasion and we make believers out of so many people because this cake is so healthy it's wheat free dairy free sugar free gluten free and when i'm at presentations and seminars and meeting with people and I say, oh, would you like a piece of chocolate cake? And their list of excuses as to why they can't have it is so long. Oh, I'm diabetic. Oh, I'm gluten-free. Oh, I can't have lactose. Oh, this, oh, that, whatever. And I said, great, you can have this because it is free of all of those things. It is so easy to make. Our youngest, Jake, made it for his grade six class all by himself. And the teacher wanted the recipe so that she could prepare it at home for her kids and get more protein and healthy foods into her kids at home in the form of chocolate cake. It is such a great recipe that you can even eat it for breakfast. The recipe takes seven minutes. So you can find all of my Healthy Fuels cookbook recipes at my website. I am the author of the Healthy Fuels cookbook and we have swapped out all of the bad fuels for great fuels so you still get to have your favorites like chocolate cake and enjoy it 
and be fueling your body well. So you can find that at the link directly. Just go to drstacycooper.com forward slash healthy dash fuels dash cookbook. And it's available right there. There's more than 40 recipes available right in the cookbook, including breakfast, morning, noon, night, and dessert, because what's life without dessert? So you can certainly add more quinoa to your lifestyle and to your meals and fuel your body better. So as I mentioned, you can see all of these episodes on our Facebook page, Lifestyle Balance Solutions, where I encourage you to join us there. And um, feel free to submit any of your questions directly to me through email, or um, you can message me on Facebook. I'm always available. And I will share more healthy living tips with you on our next Ask Dr. Stacy. Have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll see you next time.